something that I, I still struggle with now um, is like my identity, like my self identity as like an independent being. Um, because I have such successful legendary parents, like it's really hard to, even to this day, even from the success of um, such a great hit um, as Goddess, I still doubt myself and my ability. It's, it's not the right way of thinking, but I'm just trying to be honest. For the first few years of my singing career, I was kind of just going with whatever my record label would want me to do, um, whether it was my image, whether it was what song, what genre of music I was gonna do, who I was gonna work with to make this music. Um, I just kind of, I just kind of went with it. But actually the song that finally did become a hit, um, Lori Sun or Goddess, it, when you think about it, it's, it's, it's totally not what the Hong Kong canto pop music industry market really traditionally wants. It's about, you know, a strong woman <laughs> empowering other people. And that's very rare, I find, in um, canto pop. It feels weird to have, to have come so far without like the strongest, like the, the backbone of my family. Because um, I didn't only lose my mom that year. Within the same month, I also lost my grandmother. And because um, when I was growing up, my mom would work in, in Hong Kong. And then my grandmother was actually the one who I lived with in Vancouver. And so these were like the two people I was closest with. I think a part of me um, will always hope that they know what's going on because I feel like I feel like of course there have been there have been mistakes they have there have been hardships that I had to get through myself within these past 10 years but in general I feel like I'm going down the right path I hope I am <laughs> and um, I hope they know and I hope that they're proud